Uh, for a period, personally, for a period of five years, he was a kind of uh, an administrator who attached respect to everybody regardless of your status. Whether you were a sweeper, you were a senior manager, the position I was holding, you were what? He would treat you equally. And he knew how to align people in their right positions. You could have got trained in this particular field, but he would advise you and say, but I see you can do better here. So capacity building on his side was very key. And uh, that period he stayed with us. He was a good time manager. He would sometimes sleep in Mbali, but make sure by 8.30 he's at the office. Uh, he, he was a sack absorber for so many problems of the secretariat. And he would not sit in his office, he would sit in the tent. Some people would come to the secretariat to abuse him. I, I remember one time a woman came and insulted her, insulted him. But you know, he, he could treat them with the gloves and he talks to them and say, hey, you people, you are abusing me, but when I get money, it's okay, I'll treat you. He has paid fees for children, he has helped people. I think he has made a big contribution to this country. And as a country, as a party, as the people of Uganda, we have lost an asset. Yeah, it is sad we lost, uh, we lost our brother. And uh, Dr. Hansen is the one who has been one of the pillars in our subject. And we are very And so it's just to be sad with them the country. Uh, I know, of, of what I know about the, the late, the late was a very kind person, a person who wanted to date others person who wished others well and he has demonstrated that by building others, helping others to grow, even up to now as we talk, progressive school in, in the city here of Bali. We have children there who are open. They don't pay any fees. There are those who come from homes which are not doing well and he is, he's been paying fees for them. That is a legacy which one will emulate that if you are in a position, help others. So that tomorrow, those others can also help others who may come up for them. That's one lesson that we, I, I, I can take. Okay. Yeah. Dr. Galiwang Lao is, is paid. He was a Muslim, became a Haji, and we moved with him around this sub-region, helping mosques, even churches, and the other institutions. So that means he wanted his area to develop, and that's why, actually, we are going to miss him. So that is another point of legacy that one should be in to be able to help your people. Please do so in terms of development, and of course, even making sure that others are also. Uh, grow up together with me. The third one was that uh, he was a person who cherished education in particular. Because the Muslim faith, as you know, in terms of education, because of the colonial past, yeah. people concentrated on the religion, but not this uh, academic kind of education but he wanted to make sure that the Muslim young people were also brought up or grow up together with the other faith like Christian. So those are some of the the, the, the things that I can uh, remember about him and also being a generous person. Mm -hmm. Dr. was so generous. There is no single person who ever went to Kaliwango's office and he never came out. You will always come out with something. Mm -hmm. Even if he has 10,000, he will make sure that he shares with you the 10,000. Mm -hmm. So I'm just giving an example. 10,000 does not mean that that's the only money one could have. He could have, he could have had millions of shillings, he would even give you maybe 500,000, 1 million. He has actually done that mm -hmm. in a way that uh, many people are actually going to miss uh, those services. And that's why we have so many here to mourn him. He failed to. Personally, as a person, what do you remember about him besides the principles as a friend? As a friend. Mm -hmm. 
we loved each other, not even liked each other. He was my son because the uh, honorable calling that one comes from where, where I also married my wife. So as a person, we supported each other and whenever he wanted to do something which was uh, fundamental, he would invite me. Similarly, if I had something fundamental, I would tell him. So even our families were different. Like his family and my family, we are like one person. So that's what I can say about him and me as a person. Okay, thank you, sir. Tulifei, <laughs> the late now, Mami had Gariwango, that's why Hassan, Yatu Pudeko, because for some some long time. He has been a very, very uh, instrumental person in our society. Haji Omuntu, Chesvoro Kumutu Kirako, Haji Omuntu, Abadayagala, Abuko Kuberanti, Nabu Nabasun. He has been a very instrumental person in our society. That grooming in the but had to be here. and also the business community must be mourning heavily uh, to the rest of uh, Uganda I must say is one person who loves God as a God-fearing man I know for sure that uh, irrespective of any religion people who are really deeply uh, God-fearing I respect and he was one of them he has mentored many uh, in the political arena but also being a uh, proprietor of uh, schools in the school industry is one person that uh, this particular religion was missed because he had uh, schools not one, not two, quite a number and even those that are opening schools, those that have just opened, it is courtesy of his efforts. They emulated him. Uh, he was so loyal to his party. And you remember at one time when I had been a rebel, a rebel in any area, if it were not for his intervention, I would have left actually in the uh, infant stages of my 10th parliament. But he was able to, keep, uh, to give me uh, mature counsel and guidance uh, that enabled me to soldier on until the 10th parliament uh, concluded.
and eventually I had to switch to NRM uh, to the current party where I am the deputy president uh, of the party in this region, and that is National Unity Party. So it, it is one person who was extremely loyal to his party, and I, I suppose irrespective of party uh, affiliation, many of us should uh, pick a leaf and uh, know that uh, parties require loyalty even when you have issues with them, like I did, but I was not given audience. It is very important, it is one character trait that ought to be exhibited in the parties. But it is lacking in so many aspects. That's why you find we shall be the first of this kind in Uganda as a national unit platform who have suspended the errand. Uh, but any RM, even when you present the heart, the first son also turning against it is because it doesn't give audience. The emergency Jews, and uh, nor does it even exercise disciplinary control on the Iran.